Hi, this is Matt Wojcik from Greener Corporation. I'm here with Mark Green, who is the head of our technical services division. And we're here today to talk to you about the technical service offerings of Greener Corporation. We view our technical services as a bridge between the parts we manufacture and the performance of your packaging lines. We've noticed that out in our customers' markets, there's a knowledge gap that's due to a couple different reasons, one of which has to do uh, with a high turnover of employees in certain cases, and the other has to do with the fact that when these new employees come in uh, that have the responsibilities to set up and use our parts, that uh, there really is no resource for them to learn, and they're forced to learn on the job by just doing it. Right. I mean, and that can be a, a costly way to learn if you're doing it by trial and error. Sure. Right? So the need to have technical uh, experts uh, on the packaging floor has really become uh, more prevalent than, than ever. With today's high speed wrappers and film getting thinner and thinner, uh, line speeds increasing, the margin for error uh, has really become razor thin. Absolutely. You know, it, it only takes one small misadjustment <clears throat> before you really start seeing you know, diminished results in, in your packaging uh, quality. Sure. So we have broken our technical service offerings down into three separate categories, uh, line evaluations, installations, and training. Uh, we're going to tackle each one uh, individually, and we're going to go ahead and start with line evaluations. Yeah, so typically when a customer requires uh, or requests a line evaluation from us, uh, it's often because they're wanting to you know, be sure that they have the correct tooling, right, because that's what we make. Yes. Uh, and, you know, that's a fair assessment. Uh, many times the tooling that's on there might be several years old. Uh, the film uh, structures may have changed multiple times, uh, or they might be introducing a new film structure uh, that they want to confirm you know, they're going to be able to, to run successfully. But often, uh, so when we get into the, the plant floor, uh, you know, we have to look well beyond the cutting head. Uh, the, it is what we are considered to be experts in, uh, and it's been our focus for years, but uh, we've really learned that there are so many external factors in the machine environment that contribute to your success or failure. And we really need to look at those external factors in the machine environment uh, that affect your, your packaging uh, and be able to make uh, you know, recommendations or corrective uh, adjustments uh, to ensure you know, the, that the end result is successful. Sure, yeah, they, those external things often, as Mark mentioned, cause problems within the cutting head. And I, we found that usually the first reaction is to start making adjustments in the cutting head uh, when they're not really seeing, it's not a problem there, it's more of a symptom of another problem, which creates a snowball effect and actually makes things worse. Sure, I mean, we get into this, uh, you know, vicious problem uh, circle, right? Yeah. Uh, because it shows up, you, maybe you have a, a leaker. And so someone you know, turns up the heat or increases the pressure. Uh, but, but the problem is uh, they may have a, a pleat or wrinkle that needs to be adjusted out up here, a problem in the forming tooling or, you know, some, somewhere um, before the cutting head upstream. And, you know, those are the things that we can help identify uh, and educate so that people are not making those uh, adjustments. Absolutely. Yeah, you've been able to develop uh, troubleshooting checklists in order to try and uh, be more methodical about resolving these issues. Yeah, you, you really have to look at everything. You have to look at the big picture. Yes. Yeah. So the next category we have is uh, installations. Now it sounds pretty simple. We take our parts and we bring them into your factory and we install them on your machines and we're the one turning the wrenches. But it actually winds up being more than that in most cases, I believe you find. Yeah, so a lot of times 
um, you know, customers realize that they may have these uh, deficiencies, uh, or maybe they just want to ensure that they get a good quality installation, that they know that it, that part of the, the, the process is taken care of, it's squared away. Uh, so we will come in and they'll often put maintenance personnel with us, which is uh, something we recommend, uh, because then they can gain the knowledge on how to properly install uh, a set of ceiling jaws, uh, set up a knife, and the exter what external factors they should be looking at uh, to make sure that they have uh, a, a good quality set up. Yeah, I think it, it's, it becomes more of a one-on-one -on -one training session in the process. <laughs> yeah, it really does. So, um, you know, they walk away usually feeling, you know, much better uh, about their skill sets um, and they hold on to those. Sure, sure. And get to tell other people they work with about what they've learned, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, which brings us to our, our next category, uh, which is training which I think you'll find that even when we've talked about the, the two offerings prior, um, a lot of it comes down to filling that knowledge gap and education. So all roads kind of lead to, to training. Um, we have uh, many different offerings for training and many different forms of delivery for that. Um, and I think Mark can, since he spends quite a bit of time doing just this, uh, we'll further explain. Yeah, so we have uh, many different, uh, you know, training uh, products that we can deliver. Uh, everything from, you know, a, a seminar uh, that we conduct to, you know, uh, uh, a, a group setting to individualized training. Uh, typically, our, our most popular uh, training unit that we sell is training to maintenance personnel. Uh, where we come into your facility, uh, we bring a training uh, rig that we can set up uh, in the shop or in a conference room, and uh, we can have, you know, direct hands-on training where uh, we'll go through the proper procedures on how to, you know, set the cutting head up. Uh, we'll discuss the external factors, what to look for, how to adjust, identify and adjust those out and then the maintenance uh, personnel will have to demonstrate their skill set and actually come up and uh, produce a good quality setup on the training rig itself. Uh, we offer uh, individual skill assessment. Uh, we have done operator training. Uh, you know, we did uh, that recently uh, because let's face it, uh, the operators are kind of the the first line of defense, right? Yeah, They're the absolutely. ones that see everything uh, and sometimes are being tasked more and more often to uh, identify and make corrective adjustments. But if you're going to have uh, anyone making any sort of corrective adjustments, you really have to provide them with the tools, the training the to, knowledge. to do so. Yeah. So we'll, we'll teach them uh, what to look for, how to identify things, uh, what to adjust, uh, what not to adjust, and you know when when to you know, uh, get you know, the support of maintenance when they may need it, <laughs> and how to pass along the information yeah. uh, the, that they've got. The more educated and and uh, the higher the skill set of your machine operators, the more it frees up the the time of your maintenance mechanics to deal with bigger issues. Yes, and and we even offer uh, train the trainer program where, you know, we can help uh, provide you with the material, the resources, and the training rig so that you can develop, uh, we can deliver a standalone training program for you so that you can continually train. Absolutely. So to further push the training, uh, we have several years ago put together uh, a blog with where we uh, it's a place for us to be able to share with you guys all of the things that we learn and put together a, a series of white papers and videos in this blog uh, that are free for anyone to, to view if they wish. And basically it's taking the knowledge from our head and, and putting it into your head uh, in a way that's easy for you guys to access. Uh, I'm going to put a graphic up here that shows the, the address for this. 
Uh, it's p3solutionsblog.com. Um, most of the, the topics in here uh, come right out of, out of our training course to begin with. Uh, and it's a, it's a good example of, of uh, you know, how we can pass on that knowledge and, and close that gap. Yeah, there is certainly a lot of content up there uh, the, from the things that we have learned over 50 years of you know, uh, being in this business. Uh, we want to be able to pass that along. Uh, it, it's become, in many cases, a self-help center. Uh, since we do business all around the world, um, you, you might need access to certain material. Uh, and we've got a lot of you know, topics up here that people can go to, uh, find their, the resources that they need, and you know, uh, help themselves. Uh, we're always available, uh, you know, directly, you know, my phone uh, or video conferencing. Uh, so we're certainly remote service has become something that uh, we do more and more. Uh, this is something that you can utilize uh, if you need to. Absolutely. I, I encourage you guys to take a look at that. Um, I also highly encourage everyone to pass the pass it on to line operators and maintenance mechanics that that do these kind of things on a day-to-day -day basis, let them know that this resource is available for them to see, whether it's on their own time or, or at work, um, to help them with uh, perform better in their daily jobs. Yeah, so we've had maintenance personnel tell me that they've watched the videos uh, before they did a jaw installation, and uh, it gave them a lot of confidence to go ahead and install the ceiling jaws and hopefully maybe eliminate a chance of uh, uh, a costly mistake. Absolutely. I'd uh, like to thank everyone for joining us today. And uh, if I know, I believe we have one, one additional presentation that's specifically in regards to training uh, that's coming up tomorrow. So if uh, something of interest to you, I encourage you to, uh, to check it out. And if there's anything that we didn't touch upon today, uh, by all means, reach out to us. Uh, if you've got specific questions about the technical services and how we may be able to, to help, uh, please do so. Reach out to us. Very good. Thanks.